Probate can be a daunting and mysterious process, often associated with confusion and delays for many families. But understanding what probate really is and how it works can provide clarity and peace of mind during a difficult time. Welcome, my name is John, and in this video, we're going to demystify the complex world of probate. I'll guide you through the ins and outs of this legal procedure, explaining how it impacts you and your loved ones. By the end of this video, you'll have a clear understanding of what probate entails, how it functions, and how you can navigate it successfully. Stay tuned for valuable insights that can help you prepare for the future and protect your family's assets. Let's start by understanding what probate is. Probate is a formal legal process that occurs when someone passes away, involving the validation and administration of the estate. It is a court-supervised procedure where the deceased person's assets are identified, debts are paid, and the remaining assets are distributed to the beneficiary specified in the will or according to state in The probate process serves as a mechanism for the court to validate and appoint an executor or personal representative who oversees the distribution of assets to designated beneficiaries. It is designed to ensure that the deceased's final wishes are carried out in a transparent and legally binding manner. While the specifics of probate proceedings may vary from state to state, the overarching goal remains consistent to facilitate the orderly transfer of assets and resolve any potential disputes that may arise among beneficiaries. Understanding the basics of probate is essential for individuals looking to effectively plan their estates and safeguard their legacies. Now let's delve into the probate process itself. Probate involves several key stages that play a crucial role in estate administration. These stages include validation, appointment of the executor, asset inventory, debt settlement, and asset distribution. The probate process typically begins with the filing of a petition in the probate court within the jurisdiction where the deceased individual resided. The court then validates and appoints an executor who is responsible for managing the deceased person's assets, paying outstanding debts, and distributing the remaining assets to the beneficiaries. The executor must compile a comprehensive inventory of the deceased person's assets, including real estate, bank accounts, investments, and personal property. They are also required to settle any outstanding debts, taxes, and expenses of the estate before distributing the remaining assets to the beneficiaries according to the terms of the will or state laws. Once the debts are settled, the executor proceeds with the distribution of the remaining assets to the beneficiaries as outlined and determined by state laws. The distribution process must be conducted in accordance with legal requirements to ensure a fair and lawful allocation of assets. Understanding the sequential flow of the probate process provides clarity and guidance for individuals involved in estate planning. Serving as executors, comprehending each stage and associated tasks can help individuals navigate the probate process effectively, ensuring that the deceased's final wishes are honored and the estate is managed with diligence and care. Now, let's take a look at the roles and responsibilities involved. The executor plays a pivotal role in the probate process serving as the personal representative responsible for managing the deceased individual's estate and ensuring the proper distribution of assets. The executor's key responsibilities and duties include administration, court representation, asset management, debt settlement, communication with beneficiaries, accounting and reporting, estate distribution, and legal compliance. The executor's primary duty is to carry out the instructions outlined by the deceased person which includes identifying beneficiaries, locating assets, and distributing property according to the terms of the will. They also represent the estate in probate court proceedings, filing necessary documents, attending hearings, and providing updates on the progress of estate administration. Asset management is another crucial responsibility of the executor, as they are tasked with safeguarding and managing the deceased person's assets throughout the probate process. This involves securing property, managing investments, and ensuring that assets are appropriately valued and accounted for. Debt settlement is one of the critical responsibilities of the executor, as they must settle the debts and financial obligations of the estate. This may involve paying creditors, resolving outstanding bills, addressing tax liabilities, and ensuring that all financial obligations are met before distributing the remaining assets to the beneficiaries. 
Communication with beneficiaries is also essential, as the executor is responsible for keeping beneficiaries informed about the probate process, providing updates on asset distribution, and addressing any questions or concerns that beneficiaries may have. Additionally, the executor must maintain accurate records of financial transactions related to the estate, including income, expenses, and distributions, to prepare the final account for submission to the court. Estate distribution is a key duty of the executor, as they oversee the distribution of the remaining assets to the beneficiaries as specified in the will or according to state laws. The distribution process must be conducted in accordance with legal requirements to ensure a fair and lawful allocation of assets to the rightful heirs. Legal compliance is also essential for the executor, as they must adhere to the legal requirements and deadlines associated with the probate process. This includes ensuring that the estate is administered in compliance with state laws and regulations, fulfilling the essential duties of the executor, and guiding the probate process to a successful conclusion. Understanding the responsibilities and obligations of the executor is key to effectively managing the estate and ensuring that the deceased person's final wishes are carried out with integrity and diligence. By following these roles and responsibilities, the executor plays a critical role in guiding the probate process to a successful conclusion. Navigating the probate process involves adhering to specific requirements and guidelines set forth by state laws. Understanding probate requirements is essential to ensuring a smooth and efficient administration of the deceased person's estate. Some key probate requirements to consider include jurisdiction, a valid will, executor appointment, asset inventory, debt settlement, court filings, legal notifications, accounting and reporting, and legal compliance. Probate proceedings typically take place in the jurisdiction where the deceased person resided at the time of passing. It is essential to initiate probate in the correct jurisdiction and comply with the legal requirements to ensure a proper administration of the estate. A valid will is crucial for the probate process, as the deceased person's will must be valid, legally enforceable, and clearly outline their wishes regarding asset distribution and the appointment of an executor. A valid will is crucial in guiding the probate process and ensuring that the deceased person's final wishes are carried out. The court appoints an executor to oversee the probate process, and the executor is responsible for managing the estate, settling debts, and distributing assets to the beneficiaries. The executor must be willing and capable of fulfilling the duties associated with probate and estate administration. Asset inventory is a requirement for probate as the executor is required to compile a detailed inventory of the deceased person's assets, including real estate, bank accounts, investments, personal property, and valuable possessions. A comprehensive asset inventory is essential for accurate estate administration and distribution. Debt settlement is another key probate requirement, as the executor must settle the outstanding debts and liabilities owed by the deceased person. This may involve paying creditors, resolving financial obligations, and ensuring that all debts are settled before distributing the remaining assets to the beneficiaries. Various documents and forms must be filed with the probate court throughout the probate process, including the initial petition to open probate, an inventory of assets, accounting of financial transactions, and a final distribution plan. These court filings are essential for the proper administration of the estate and compliance with legal requirements. Legal notifications are required in probate, as beneficiaries, heirs, and creditors must be notified of the probate proceedings as required by law. Providing timely and accurate notifications ensures transparency and compliance with legal requirements throughout the probate process. The executor is responsible for maintaining detailed records of financial transactions related to the estate, including income, expenses, and distributions. These records are essential for preparing the final account that outlines the financial activities of the estate and is submitted to the court for approval. Legal compliance is crucial for the executor, as they must adhere to the legal requirements and deadlines associated with the probate process. This includes ensuring that the estate is administered in compliance with state laws and regulations, fulfilling the essential duties of the executor, and guiding the probate process to a successful conclusion. 
Compliance with probate requirements is essential for a successful and legally sound estate administration. By understanding and fulfilling these requirements, the executor can navigate the probate process effectively and ensure that the estate is administered in accordance with state laws and regulations. Debt settlement is a critical aspect of estate administration that requires careful attention to ensure that the outstanding debts and financial obligations of the deceased individual are properly addressed. Key considerations in debt settlement in probate include creditor notification, debt verification, debt prioritization, debt payment, tax obligations, negotiation with creditors, court approval, and timely payment of debts. Upon initiating the probate process, the executor is responsible for notifying known creditors of the deceased individual's passing. This notification allows creditors to come forward and file claims against the estate for any outstanding debts owed. The executor must verify the validity of creditor claims and determine the amount owed to each creditor. This may involve reviewing bills, statements, and documentation to ensure the accuracy of the debts claimed against the estate. Debt prioritization is essential in probate, as not all debts are created equal. Certain debts may take precedence over others based on state laws and probate regulations. For example, secured debts like mortgages or car loans may have priority over unsecured debts like credit card balances. Using the assets of the estate, the executor is responsible for paying the valid debts and liabilities owed by the deceased individual. This may involve selling assets, liquidating investments, or using cash reserves to settle the outstanding debts in an orderly fashion. In addition to general debts of the estate, there may be tax obligations that need to be addressed in probate. This includes filing the final income tax return of the deceased individual for the year of their passing and paying any estate taxes that may be due. In some cases, the executor may need to negotiate with creditors to settle debts for less than the full amount owed. This negotiation can help preserve estate assets and ensure that creditors receive a fair distribution while minimizing the impact on the beneficiaries. Once the debts are settled, the executor must present a final account of the debt payments to the probate court for approval. This account provides a detailed record of the debt settlement activities and ensures transparency in the probate process. Timely payment of debts is essential in probate to avoid penalties and interest charges. The executor must stay informed of tax filing deadlines, including income tax returns, estate tax returns, and other tax-related obligations to ensure that the debts are paid in a timely and efficient manner. By addressing debt settlement proactively and diligently, the executor can navigate the complexities of debt obligations in probate and ensure that the estate's assets are protected and that a fair distribution is made to the beneficiaries. Tax considerations play a significant role in probate and estate administration, as the executor must navigate various tax obligations and requirements to ensure compliance and minimize tax liabilities. Key aspects of tax considerations in probate include income taxes, estate taxes, inheritance taxes, tax planning, tax deadlines, tax payments, and legal compliance. The executor is responsible for filing the deceased individual's final income tax return for the year of their passing. This return covers the period from the beginning of the tax year to the date of death and includes all income earned during that time. Filing the final income tax return is crucial to ensure compliance with tax obligations. Depending on the value of the estate, it may be subject to federal and state estate taxes. The executor must determine if the estate meets the threshold for estate tax liability and file the necessary estate tax returns as required by law. Some states impose inheritance taxes on assets inherited by beneficiaries. The executor must be aware of the applicable inheritance tax laws in the jurisdiction where the estate is probated to ensure compliance with tax requirements. If the deceased individual made significant gifts before passing, gift taxes may apply to the estate. The executor must review past gift tax returns to ensure that any outstanding gift tax liabilities are addressed in probate. Proper tax planning can help minimize tax liabilities and maximize the value of the estate for the beneficiaries. The executor may work with tax professionals to explore tax saving strategies and ensure that tax obligations are met in a timely and efficient manner. Meeting tax deadlines is crucial in probate to avoid penalties and interest charges. 
the executor must stay informed of tax filing deadlines, including income tax returns, estate tax returns, and other tax-related obligations to ensure that the tax obligations are met in a timely manner. Using the assets of the estate, the executor is responsible for paying income taxes, estate taxes, and other tax liabilities owed by the deceased individual or the estate. Timely payment of taxes is essential to prevent tax-related complications in probate and ensure that the tax obligations are addressed. By addressing tax considerations proactively and diligently, the executor can navigate the complexities of tax obligations in probate and ensure that the estate complies with applicable tax laws and regulations. Proper tax management helps safeguard the assets of the estate, minimize tax liabilities, and facilitate the smooth distribution of assets to the beneficiaries. Estate distribution is a key aspect of probate that involves the transfer of assets to the beneficiaries according to the terms of the will or state laws. Proper estate distribution promotes transparency, fairness, and legal compliance in the probate process. Key considerations in estate distribution include living trusts, joint ownership, beneficiary designations, gifts, and transfers, small estate procedures, community property rights, and estate planning. Establishing a living trust allows individuals to transfer assets to a trust during their lifetime, with designated beneficiaries receiving the assets upon their passing. Assets held in a living trust typically bypass probate, and the trust dictates how the assets are distributed. Holding assets jointly with rights of survivorship facilitates the automatic transfer of ownership to the surviving joint owner upon the passing of one owner. Common forms of joint ownership include joint tenancy and tenancy by the entirety in real estate, as well as joint bank accounts. Designating beneficiaries for assets such as retirement accounts, life insurance policies, payable on death accounts, and transfer on death accounts allows the assets to pass directly to the beneficiaries outside of probate. Beneficiary designations help assets transfer smoothly and efficiently to the intended recipients. Making lifetime gifts of assets to loved ones or transferring assets through strategic means can help reduce the size of the estate subject to probate. Gifting and asset transfers can minimize the complexities and costs associated with probate and ensure that assets are distributed according to the deceased person's wishes. Some states offer small estate procedures for estates that fall below a certain threshold, allowing for simplified probate procedures and expedited processing. Small estate procedures can reduce the time and expenses typically associated with probate for qualifying estates. In community property states, spouses may hold property with a community property right of survivorship, ensuring that the surviving spouse automatically inherits the property without the need for probate. This arrangement simplifies the transfer of property between spouses and avoids the probate process. Comprehensive estate planning, including the creation of wills, trusts, and powers of attorney, helps individuals structure their affairs in a way that minimizes the need for probate and ensures a smooth transition of assets to the beneficiaries. By implementing strategies and engaging in thoughtful estate planning, individuals can potentially avoid probate or streamline the probate process for their loved ones. Understanding the various methods of avoiding probate empowers individuals to make informed decisions in estate planning, protect their assets for future generations, and ensure a smooth and efficient transfer of assets to the beneficiaries. By exploring these strategies, individuals can plan ahead and prepare for the future with confidence. As we wrap up this exploration of probate, I have a question for you. Have you considered how probate may impact your estate and loved ones? Share your thoughts in the comments below. For more free and practical information on estate planning, probate, and financial management, check out the link in the video description. If you found this video informative and valuable, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more insightful content on managing your finances and securing your future. Thank you for watching, and remember, knowledge is power when it comes to protecting your assets and ensuring a smooth transition for your loved ones. Thank you.